Here's how you can fix the package failed updates, dependency, or conflict validation error. To do this, press Windows plus I to open Settings, go to Apps in the left pane, then click on Installed Apps. Search for Photos, click the three dots next to it and select Advanced Options. Scroll down and click Repair. Once the repair is complete, check if the issue has been resolved. If the problem persists, return to the same menu and click Reset, then confirm when prompted. The reset process will take a few seconds. Again, check for improvements. Next, let's update the affected app via Microsoft Store. To do that, press the Windows key, type Microsoft Store, click the top result, go to Downloads from the left, click on Check for Updates, and if a newer version is available, install it. Now, let's re-register the Photos app. This method has worked for many users who face the same issue. Press the Windows key, type Terminal, click on Run as Administrator, and choose Yes in the UAC prompt. Now, paste this command in PowerShell and hit Enter. This will re-register the Photos app. I have added it to the video's description. Copy the command from there and run it. The problem might also be caused by a missing or outdated dependency. Many users fixed it by installing the Microsoft dot VC libs package manually. To do this, open your browser, head to Microsoft's official website, and download the package that matches your system architecture. Once the file is downloaded, open File Explorer, right-click the downloaded dot app X file, and select Copy as Path. Now, open Terminal as an administrator. In PowerShell, paste the following command, but replace the path with the one you copied. Then hit Enter and wait for the installation to complete. If you see an error saying a newer version is already installed, that's fine. It simply means your system already has the required dependency. But if it's missing, the installation will go through and should fix the problem. First, open Command Prompt as an administrator. Now, you'll need to run the commands for the DISM tool and SFC scan. These will scan your system for corrupted files and automatically repair and replace them. All four commands are listed in the video description, so you can copy them directly from there. Once you've run them all, restart your PC. The next solution is to perform an in-place upgrade. It's similar to reinstalling Windows, but your personal files and apps stay intact. For this, you'll need to download the Windows ISO from Microsoft's official website. The entire process can take a few hours, so make sure you have enough time and a stable internet connection. We already have a dedicated video on how to perform an in-place upgrade. It should appear near the top right corner. If you don't see the tutorial, click the I icon. That's all for now. If you learned something new, hit the like button, share this video with others, and subscribe to Tech in Moments so you never miss a quick smart tech tip again.